We return to Monica Kaufman close-ups. It's a cop drama that blurs the lines between good and bad. It allows the viewer to decide for themselves. And who would have guessed that one of the stars of The Shield is from our neck of the woods? On location in the mean streets of L.A., we're behind the scenes of The Shield as Walton Goggins, a regular on the series, prepares to film a gut-wrenching showdown with the star, Michael Chiklis. Walton Goggins continues to pace as the crew sets up. Then... But I would never do that! Never! You know that! When the scene finally is over, Walton Goggins is emotionally drained. And it shows. Pretty intense. It really is intense, and, and it's not a walk in the park when you go to work. But what really makes living and working in L.A. difficult are the things he misses back in Georgia. I miss barbecue. You know, I miss pulled pork. I, I can't eat a brisket. I'm sorry. A brisket is not barbecue. To prove the point, Walton takes me to eat at his favorite barbecue joint during a recent visit home. It's good. Oh, 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 yeah. Here at Wallace's Barbecue in Lithia Springs, where he grew up, Walton Goggins is not just a local celebrity. He's a local hero. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Walton's career as a performer began in 1980, when as an eight-year-old, he entered a hog calling contest, and he won. I was like the youngest guy, I think, in the competition. <laughs> I had to adjust the microphone, and they, they put it down right in front of me. I just belted out this hog call. Let me hear it. <laughs> you gotta do it. Come on. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, all right. All right. Um, on the spot. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Women will not forget who you are if you do that. The road to Hollywood actually started in Conyers, where the late Carol O'Connor brought Southern Police Chief Bill Gillespie to life for seven seasons with the help of numerous local actors. You're on In the Heat of the Night? I've been on In the Heat of the Night four times as four different people. And the first time I thought I made it was when they flew me back from L.A. to do In the Heat of the Night. I mean, I thought, well, that's it. And I wrote a letter to Tom Cruise on the, uh, on the plane ride home thinking, well, I'll be in his next movie. It's done. <laughs> Not a problem. But it would be five or six more years before his first big break really came. The Apostle. And, and that movie changed my life. <laughs> in the critically acclaimed film, Walton played Robert Duvall's trustworthy friend, a departure from the kind of Southerners he usually had to play. I was good at playing the young deputy, <laughs> you know, when I first moved out there. And I thought, well, there's, there's more to the South than that, and, and there's certainly more to the stories that I want to tell than that. But what else could he do? I, I don't have the face for Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> I'm not that classically kind of good-looking guy. And, uh, and this show came along. This show was The Shield, a gritty cop drama unlike anything he'd ever seen on TV. I remember reading it for the first time and, and going, my God, this is, this is a show that assumes that its audience is going to be intelligent. Walton Goggins landed a prominent role as police detective Shane Vendrell, one of the corrupt yet heroic LAPD detectives who make up a strike force that seems to commit as much crime as it solves. That wasn't part of the deal. It will make no mistake. There's no deal here. This is you doing what I say, or else you're getting a cap in the back of your ear and something we like to call the line of duty. <sighs> I do like the bad guys. Relax, policeman. Now in its fourth season, The Shield has become a big hit for the upstart cable network, FX. And Walton's character, Shane, has grown with the show. I got the script one day and, and realized that, hey, I'm from Atlanta. They're, oh, you're stealing stuff from my life, man. I want some, I want some more money, man. No, but so, so yeah, they've kind of incorporated in th that into who I am and, and being from Atlanta is a part of it. And it's, it's nice. The other little thing I might mention at this point, he's won an Academy Award. If you're scratching your head, let me help you out. With longtime friend and occasional partner Ray McKinnon of Deadwood fame, he produced and starred in The Accountant, which won the Oscar for Best Short Film in 2002. Where's the Oscar? You know what? I, I'm pretty proud of it. I'll be quite honest with you. Uh, it's right next to my hog calling trophy. It got the attention of Billy Bob Thornton, who agreed to star in their most recent production, Crystal. We were friends, and I had done 
Well, I've done two movies with Walt. Well, now three with Walt. And I did one with Ray as an actor before this. Uh, but the accountant uh, played a big part in it. Billy Bob and Ray McKinnon's wife, Lisa Blunt, play Joe and Crystal, a couple who struggle to overcome almost an unimaginable loss. It's about kind of their journey back to wholeness. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, let's That's move on. on. It's not just a Southern story. It's not, no. It has universal themes, but, but it's time that we told them with a Southern accent. Hi. The filmmakers came to Atlanta recently promoting the premiere of Crystal, which, like The Accountant, has been almost universally praised. So often in, in Hollywood, when they, when they portray the, the South, uh, it is uh, 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 from an angle that, that they want to perpetuate this stereotype from movies that they've seen before without actually spending time in, in the South. Sure, but that's coming from a guy who started out pig calling. You cup your hand. OK. All right, right. You got it, and you want to just, but you want to have it so that you see here. You can bring your 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 oh, thumb okay. out a little bit. Okay. And then just. <laughs> that's and now cup it a little bit. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> if I was a pig, I would come to you. Oh, before I come to me. <laughs>